Persuading people to change is a big part of running a successful business. You need to persuade an employee, vendor, partner, and client management, not to mention the importance of persuasion in sales. And if you're like most people, you assume great persuasion is all about finding the right messaging to inspire change. But it turns out that telling people what they should or shouldn't do isn't a great way to motivate them, especially when you're an authority figure. No matter how compelling your argument is, the more you impose your opinion, the more you demotivate others to change. So you might be asking yourself, if I can't tell people what they should be doing, how can I persuade them to change? Enter the advice of Dr. Michael Pantalone from the Yale School of Medicine and his instant influence process. If you need to inspire productive change in others, this is a great book to read. Tip number one, prioritize autonomy above all else. As humans, we are programmed for autonomy. And when someone tells us we have to do something, then we won't want to do it. If you want to encourage lasting change, especially in those who are hesitant to change, you have to start by recognizing that the choice is always theirs. With this in mind, when you begin a conversation about change, reinforce their autonomy from the get-go. Try language like, this is entirely up to you, I can't make this choice for you, it's your decision. And while it might be tempting to bring consequences into the autonomy discussion by saying something like, I can't make this decision for you, but if you don't change, you'll lose your job. By doing this, you're gonna derail the conversation before it started. Your consequences will diminish their sense of autonomy and they will become defensive before the conversation has even started. Tip number two, they must find their own motivation. After telling someone that the choice to change is yours, you might be tempted to start listing all the reasons that you think they should change. But your reasons won't motivate them. They need to find their own reasons. So after you've genuinely recognized their autonomy, you need to ask them, if you were to consider changing, why might you make that choice? If you get responses like, I should or I have to, Lead them away from those statements and ask them again why they would want to change, independent of the shoulds of the world. You're looking for their own personal motivation. What benefits might they experience if they made a change? Tip number three, focus on the positives. While it's very human to dwell on the bad things that can happen if we don't change, Studies have shown that thinking about the benefits of a change is far more impactful than considering negative consequences. For example, imagine you have an event partner that you're trying to persuade to do more marketing. When you ask them why they might want to sell more tickets, they might talk about the embarrassment of hosting an empty event. In this situation, encourage them to shift from thinking of a negative outcome to a positive one. Ask them to imagine the benefits of hosting a well-attended event. And remember to resist sharing the benefits that motivate you. They need to find their own positive reasons to change. Tip number four, dig deep. Once the influency has identified positive outcomes they may experience from change, it's time to dig deeper with the five whys. Using the five whys strategy just means asking why they care about the benefit five times. For example, imagine you're a coach working with a client who needs to spend more time on sales, but hasn't made that change. When you ask why they might want to do more sales activity, they might say to make more money. And from that answer, you can start your five why process. Why number one, why do you want to make more money? They might say, I want to buy a house. Okay, why do you want to buy a house? I want some place I can customize for myself. Why do you want to customize your home? I want to have the colors and the layout and the outdoor space that I prefer. Why is having all those things so important? Well, where I live is a big part of my inner peace and I really want to create a space that gives me that peace. Okay, and why is inner peace so important to you? Well, I have a lot of anxiety and finding relief from that in my home is going to make my whole life better. Through the five whys conversation, you've taken the influency to their true motivation. They want to do more sales activity because they want to find peace in their own space and lessen their anxiety. 
Tip number five, start with small steps. Once you've helped someone identify why they want to change, it's time for them to decide on a small step to take. Jumping in with a hundred new things to do almost guarantees that no change will happen or the change will be temporary. And it's not up, you, up to you to assign them their steps for change. That will negate their autonomy. They might ask for help identifying first steps and you can give them a few options to consider. But at the end of the day, they need to decide what they're going to do to start the change process. For example, if an employee keeps arriving to work late, they might set a get ready for bed alarm to help encourage them to go to sleep earlier. Or if a book club member isn't doing their reading, they could maybe decide to schedule 15 minutes of reading time each day for the next two weeks. My small business book review for Instant Influence. Now, I think the Instant Influence is a great book for any small business owner. We all work with people that would benefit from change, including ourselves, and Pantalone's system can be used to encourage change in almost anyone. I'm sure the system isn't perfect, nothing is, but it will definitely give you insights into how to improve your persuasion techniques. And if you're like me, as you read, you're gonna think of so many conversations about change that could have gone better and many future conversations that you're now more equipped to have. I give Instant Influence a five out of five stars. This is a book that will help you in both your business and personal life. Hey, small business owners, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. And if you'd like to join the discussion, visit us at Climb the Small Business Book Club. The link is in the description, and we'd love to meet you.